Hello, everybody. Uh, we are uh, from Brian from QuantLabs.net. Uh, speaking to you here on April 27th. I uh, just got an article here from Bloomberg.com. Headline is Daily Profit, What's Gotten Into the Dollar These Days? And what I can say about these charts I'm about to explain to you are still valid. Um, so the first one is the, the dollar stages biggest rally since uh, November 2016. Um, the this did happen now. The uh, U.S. Treasury ten-year uh, did hit the three uh, percent, uh, which is a rally signal. Uh, then we have the uh, stocks have wobbled as Treasury yields. Uh, three uh, percent oil marches towards uh, seventy dollars uh, as a result obviously hedge funds are going to pile in and the Mexican peso dropped as uh, this guy Lopez Albrado pool numbers rise uh, another article here found at citywireselector.com the name of the article uh, which came out uh, yesterday, uh, actually, sorry, a few days ago, uh, April 24th. The title of the article is Smart Beta Outperformed Active Peers in 2017 Research Finds. This is still valid, too. As Europe has bounced back, 20.5% equity active funds outperformed smart index funds in 2017. 45% active managers managed to beat their traditional benchmark over the same time frame uh, so basically these smart beta are the uh, higher quality companies and uh, they are outperforming there are a variety of article uh, data points in this article uh, I'm just trying to find one there's some about China and uh, you might want to take a look at this okay third article uh, is from, of all places, New York Post, nypost.com. Earnings thud marked May, mark end of high times on Wall Street. So Dow Jones Industrial Average fell as uh, much as 620 points on Tuesday. Uh, Google, Caterpillar, 3M reported. Uh, investors made them uneasy. The, as we mentioned, the 10-year did hit 3%. Uh, in their day down, lost uh, 424 points. Uh, Sell-off comes as uh, Jerome Powell says that uh, central banks should raise borrowing costs. It just went up actually in Canada here over the last two days. Um, so there's some other items higher rates per siege, higher borrowing costs for mortgages, credit cards, so obviously that's going to increase the debt load for consumers. And um, tech giants and Facebook dragged down the markets. Google uh, reported 7 point, sorry, 7.7 .7 billion in spending during the first three months. Companies' shares dove 4.5% to only 1019.98. And here's an interesting uh, story. Facebook reported earnings on Wednesday, slammed by a report that social security numbers and other sensitive information were sold on the company's platform for years. Ouch. So hopefully, this uh, set of articles will help you out for the last few days, and uh, we shall uh, talk to you guys.